this this is getting to be a habit i've uh, oh, i just recorded the whole video and hadn't plugged the microphone in again uh, the reason being I, I swapped cameras i wanted to record this on my uh, xh2 uh, just to have a look see what the 8k uh, output uh, looks like and uh, ease of you know editing or whatever and i forgot i replug the uh, replug the microphone back in oh god i'm losing it i really am What did I say? During the mean whilst. During the mean whilst? No, no, no. Like that. Well, hello. It is Dexter and me. And in this absolutely unmissable and frankly quite unique video, uh, we'll be conducting one of our uh, famous and oh so highly regarded lens shootouts. Can't innovate anymore, my ass. And the subjects of uh, this week's comparison is uh, macro photography based and it pits my favorite lens of all time the micro nickel afs 105 millimeter f 2.8 g vred against my new and much more conservatively named leowa 65 millimeter f 2.8 ultra macro lens right let's get the boring stuff and differences out of the way first shall we uh, the Nikon lens comes in, well, Nikon's own uh, proprietary F-mount, so for DSLR bodies only, uh, unless you adapt it to a mirrorless camera, that is, in which case, with the correct adapter, it will fit just about anything I'd imagine, while the Leowa is available in Fuji X-mount, as owned by me, uh, Sony E-mount and Canon's M-mount, so mirrorless cameras only. Uh, the Nikon is a full frame lens, while the Leowa is designed for APS-C cameras, and although the Nikon has that longer focal length, both cameras will yield a similar field of view uh, due to the 1.5x crop factor applicable to APS sensor equipped cameras. Uh, physically, the Nikon is a much larger and heavier lens with autofocus capabilities as well as uh, Nikon's anti-shake system called vibration reduction. What I'll do now is uh, pop up a uh, little chart on screen comparing uh, sizes and weights etc for you right now while I rab it on. Uh, both have beautifully smooth <coughs> excuse me, manual focus rings and the Leowa benefits from a lightly indented uh, aperture collar with full hole uh, f-stops. Now as a G designated lens uh, the Nikon's aperture is controlled via a command dial uh, and it's the front one on my, my D700. Uh, while the Nikon lens has a maximum magnification of one to one meaning objects appear as life size on the camera sensor at its closest focus distance the Leowa has a two to one ratio uh, therefore yielding a two times uh, two times a uh, life-size image, you'll be surprised to know. <laughs> Talking of closest focus distances, the Nikon gets down to 31 uh, centimeters from the sensor, while the Leowa gets much closer right down uh, to 17 centimeters, so you know, right at the end of the lens. Uh, the shooting experience differs vastly, well in my case it does, as I shoot the Nikon on a D700 DSLR body with none of the modern bells and whistles uh, offered by the latest, the latest mirrorless cameras. Now I tend to shoot both using uh, manual focus, uh, well it's the only option in the or anyway, uh, but with articulating screens and focus peaking on my Fujifilm's X-H2, uh, it's a night and day experience compared to shooting on the D700. Size and weight aren't great factors for me as 99% of the time, uh, particularly if I'm shooting seriously, uh, the camera and lens will be tripod mounted. And I use uh, a Niwa, or Niwa, whatever it's called, macro rail uh, to make the whole process even less painstaking and uh, would recommend one or something similar, at least to any reasonably serious uh, macro photographer. Right then, let's get down to the brass tacks the image quality. Here is a montage of images shot on each camera, Leowa first, uh, then uh, the Nikon. Play montage. Oh, well.
right, I've long said, <coughs> excuse me, that the Nikon is my favourite lens of all time, the GOAT, if you will. Uh, and as good as the Leo is, my mind uh, simply has not been changed. Uh, while the Leo is technically excellent, and it really is, I actually think it is too good if such a thing is possible. Uh, it's too precise, making it clini clinical almost, uh, even in its output. And if you like that sort of detail, then for you, it is a better lens than the Nikon. But whether the Nikon lens scores highly is in its uh, in its artistry. Uh, the rendered images are, while well, still sharp, just a little bit softer, but in a good way. Uh, they lack the sheer the sheer clinical precision of the Leoa. In musical terms, then I'll compare it to uh, to late great drummers. Uh, where the Leoa is someone like uh, Rush's Neil Peart, uh, the Nikon really is really is Keith Moon, if you get my drift. <laughs> ah, but this is down to the X-H2's greater resolution. I hear you all cry in unison. Well, yes, but also no. You see, I've shot the Nikon lens adapted to my 40 megapixel X-T5. And while the images are not as special as those shot on the D700, uh, they still had some of that, you know, old-fashioned softness that the older lens affords. Also, the way the Nikon renders colours is just special to my eye, and the background blur, just sublime. Again, some of this is uh, attributable to the D700's ancient but full-frame uh, 12 megapixel sensor, I agree. But it's that combination of camera and lens that keeps on bringing me back to this 105mm macro magical marvel for the vast majority of my close-up close -up photography. But no, I'm definitely not selling the Leo while lens. I do enjoy the extra magnification and detail uh, that it gives me, uh, but when I'm looking for it, that is, not all the time. Um, when I'm looking for a nice piece of art, well, that's when I reach, I reach for the goat, the Nikon. Long live the long-named king. <laughs> right, what I've done for you now, is rather than make this video longer than it already is, is piece together two shorter videos showcasing a number of images shot with both lenses for you to have a look at. Then you can have a gander at them at your own pace, you know, and pause them for a closer look if you really want to. Um, they are going to go live the same time as this video, so they're up there now uh, for you to have a look at, uh, accompanied by uh, my good friend, uh, TC's musical track that he wrote for me some time back. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy the videos and I hope you enjoy the music too. It's a, a lovely a lovely piece. Right then, uh, that is it for this week's uh, video. Um, as usual, stay safe, stay well, look after yourselves, your loved ones, your little your little foodie animals as well. Look after them and uh, and just be nice, okay? Right, I'm going off now and watch the end of uh, the Tour de France stage, okay? Uh, See you on the next video. Ta-ra.